Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Lego Batman on the Nintendo DS. And it's Woo! time for us to play as more of the bad guys. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. So, oh yay. No! This... I don't like uh, this. They're pursuing us. Oh yeah, we're the bad guys now. So. Yeah, we're the bad guys. But remember, uh, the Batwing level didn't go so well. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Oh yeah, I thought you didn't want to play this level again. I said I'm not going to 100% this level, oh, and I okay. still mean it. He's like, no, thank you. <laughs> anyway, hey this guys and gals, fun. welcome back to the Kaylin's Let's Play channel and more of Lego Batman DS. Now I know why you didn't do this for a while. Yeah, this, this is why. I knew there was a reason that I was kind of like putting this off. That'll do it. Whoa. Totally. So uh, make sure you uh, like for my uh, nausea from uh, this. Yep. This Yay is for nausea. This is crazy. Great, great. So, so today we're gonna cram in as much as we can uh, as we uh, try to finish up this game, and then we'll see about some free roaming if possible. But I've actually <laughs> read some interesting things about the free roaming in this game. Or free play. Sometimes the game can jam up. Yeah, I mean, do people really want us to see a free roam, or...? I'm gonna uh, do at least one Nightwing level. Like, yeah, I want to show off Nightwing so bad. Oh, really? He's one of your favorite characters? I had no idea. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Amber's trying to be sarcastic, <laughs> but it didn't work. It didn't work at all. I'm sorry. It's my attempt at humor. Your attempt has failed for the last time. For the first, uh, whatever. Yeah. That's what you said the last time. Whoa. Things are getting cray cray up in here. For reals. <laughs> I think I got that from watching Gravity Falls. I kind of miss that show, actually. Just a little bit. I miss Grunkle Stan. Missiles away! And the bad guys pay. Oh no! Ah! Batman has just committed manslaughter. More it's or less. It's fine. If it's a bad guy, it's perfectly fine. Is that how it works? Or don't I don't guess. That. Or is I mean, it just people I label as bad guys? Exactly. Shadow, you're a bad guy. I know, but it's like if you. If you shoot somebody down in, their, in a plane. It's like, wouldn't you be then a bad guy because you just did something bad? Oh, uh, she's looking at your pen like it's awfully tempting. Why does she like pens so much? The pens. Give me She the really pen. likes pens. Oh, she's going to grab it, I think. You fool, we're going to crash. Ah! Man, how do we survive? Because we're Legos, you twit. I don't know what Scarecrow's voice sounds like at all. I have no idea what, what voice I was trying to do of whatever character. So Scarecrow has bombs and Joker throws cards. Good times. So now we got to make our way inside of the art exhibit, just like, you know, we've yeah. done in previous things. Red, black Lego things can be destroyed through demolition stuff. And we have to use our touch screen up here. Blow this up to kingdom come! Bomberman style! Kablamo! So, no flares, though. Makes me kind of sad. Uh, oh, flash. No substance. Oh, what? Oh, hey, you, you did it. Awesome. I did something. Yeah, you're all flare and no substance. There we go. I could just punch this, right? Ah, we'll blow it up anyway. Just because! Reasons! Reasons that only I need to know, and you don't. Hmm. I wonder what those reasons could be. I just like explosions. You look like you're planning something evil again, petting your cat there. I'm thinking. petting my cat with my elbow because I have to, you know, move. Oh, right, back. yeah. Kind of petting her with your arm there. She doesn't seem to mind too much. She seems to like it. Cats are pretty easy. I mean, it's not like they have goals or dreams. Like, they want to be a ballerina and you're dashing their dreams because they have to sit around the house all day. We never asked them if they wanted to be show cats. They're pretty enough. Aww, look at that. Look at her little smile. 
Um, Russian blues always smile. Uh oh, never mind. The only one that looks weird that might not be a full Russian blue is Zelda. She has yeah. this weird, weird expression on her face. Very Siamese like, very it's mischievous. Like, yeah, she's always looking up. You know what her expression says all the time? It looks like she's saying, I didn't do it. Whatever it is, <laughs> I didn't do it. Today. <laughs> Tomorrow, How did SWAT I can't, get yeah. here? See, that I doesn't make any been. sense to me. Is I mean, yeah, maybe Batman wanted to radio it in. Okay, Joker and Scarecrow are going to crash. Yeah. But there's no way that they'd uh, be able to pinpoint where they are so quickly. I was actually told that I had a mischievous smile when I was a baby. Like, all the time. And my, I had the same, like, like little, like, there's a picture of my dad, and he has a mischievous smile, and, like, apparently I have the same little mischievous smile as him. I don't, I don't, I don't really do very many. Ah! I don't really do mischievous things, though. I can't think of anything mischievous that, that counts I do. as mischievous. Like you take the cookies from the cookie jar. I don't know. I have done that. So I know we said we were gonna get to a yokai watch, but um, kind of thought that these episodes were done with Lego Batman, but it turns out the audio files got mm, flubbed. I guess would be the, the easiest way to say it. Mm, Sometimes gonna... uh, everybody asks me, like, what what is it like being a YouTuber? It's like, well, there's it's... no such thing as everything going perfectly. Sometimes vlogs mess up. Sometimes audio files for Let's Plays mess up. And it's like, yeah. what do you do? You talk over the footage or you play the game again? It's like, well... I keep... Yeah, I mean, like, I do see it happen to other YouTubers, too, but I keep thinking, oh, maybe if I get a super powerful computer, it will never happen, but everyone's computer messes up, like... Nothing is... So, that's why I... Oh, I don't know. I should probably make more backup files of backup files. But, but computers are supposed to be perfect, though, supposedly, because humans are, I like, know, full imperfect. of error. But Fleshy I'm... beings are supposed to be error-filled. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, but... if only I could get up the... Uh-oh. Oh, no. But, yeah, computers have error. I, I my teachers, error. My teachers for, like, graphic design and stuff always said that computers have errors because humans make them. Uh-huh. But it's like... I don't know about that. I, I don't think... make errors with my capture cards or with my voiceovers. Yeah, so that happens. the computer is doing it itself. Like, I think the errors happen from... Aha! I don't know, just wear and tear of the world. Like, stuff... I don't know, your computer just... Well, when we sit I there mean, and record, like, a bunch of videos that day, then sometimes there's the possibility... I mean, computers just get worn out. That was that... Right before the Lego Batman movie came out, you and I were, like, cranking out, like, videos like crazy. So we'd already done the entire Lego Batman thing. But yeah. I, I know there was a problem when I started to edit things and, like, it did the, hey, what's happening, gamers? And then it went, hey, hey, well, hey, 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 hey. That's yeah. Like, no. Well, you know what's interesting? I used to get really annoyed all the time when stuff went wrong. And I always, because I'm not used to working with computers for a job. So I always used to think, like, oh, Luke must be messing something up. And if only I was doing it. But then I started taking graphic design classes and... Computers would mess up almost every day. There'd be an error. And some of these people, especially, you know, especially people that are used to working in different industries like language arts and things like that, where they go to school a lot and stuff, they'd sit there and get so frustrated because they'd be like, you know, this thing isn't working and I need it, you know, I'm sitting here for 10 minutes waiting and I've lost 10 minutes of my school day and the teacher would just be like, this stuff happens with the computers all the time. You just have to be patient. And, like, there was this one lady I remember working with and she would just click it, like, over and over and over and over again. No! And, like, it would get worse and she'd be, like, literally about to lose it and she'd be like, I need this job because, you know, I have to, I have, to have this other income and she's like, I don't understand my computer isn't working. It's like, the guy's just like, you just have to wait it out because this is how computers are they always mess up and it's like and when you get then I finally, angry with the computer and you worse. like and you click over and over and over again you're sending the, more data to the computer yeah i mean working any job with computers you can literally you can be down for days waiting for something like there were times, like, even in my school where, like, a computer would be down for the day and you just have to sit there for that day and wait till tomorrow. Yeah. That's just how it is, but... And it helped... I think it was good that I went to that school because that helped me when I came back. I was like, oh, okay, I understand, Luke. You were right. 
Tell your sister you will ride. I have my moments. Uh, They're not many. So yeah, that's kind of what I would say. Any computer type job <laughs> like that. But thank goodness we have a lot of friends that know techie type things, so that can help a little bit. But it's still, it's like, you know, you have to call a company or a friend or something, have them help out. And friends? What are friends? Yeah. I mean, I have some friends. I'm just messing. So, we're trying to get 100% uh, with these things, but might have to just finish the level, because I believe Joker fell too many oh, times. So. I see, Caitlin. You're not my friend? Fine! Be that way! No, we're married, and we oh, kind of, okay. like, we're, we're like, uh, the it's next like level. It's, like, upgraded? Yeah. It's, like, level 40 characters in Fire Emblem. Mmm. Okay. More or less. Maybe yeah. level, yeah, level, yeah. Until they upgrade Fire Emblem, then it'll be over 40. I'm really hoping they do, because I want to upgrade Robin more so much. You really like Robin in that, huh? Well, I mean, he's OP, and he kills everybody on the screen, so yeah. Alright, so those of you that are Uber fans, I'm not talking about, like, Uber, you know, the drive things, because I don't like those. Um, but just in terms of content... This month, the end of March, I would say that we have the Power Rangers Legacy Mobile. We have Mario, like the Mario run on the tablet is now out, finally, for her Android users. We were last. I don't know why, but... Oh, right. So, there's two tablet games we'll be looking at this week. It'll be Mario Run, which I'm kind of excited about that. I heard it's a very short game. And it's a side-scrolling runner, so it's not, you know, the regular just center and go. Right, side-scrolling runner, it's, that's weird. Yeah. It's oh, Mario so style. it's not just like running forward like Sonic Runner or something right. like that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that preview a long time ago. It's been a while. And the Power Rangers uh, Legacy thing is going to be a lot of fun. Of course, I'm only going to really be playing until I get some of my favorite rangers from Mighty Morphin Space and uh, even uh, Power Rangers Dino Charge. Like, I, I like, I have to get the Blue Ranger because he's my favorite. Yeah. I think something that would have been cool on this level is to give you a paint gun and you'd have to paint over all the pictures. We kind of mentioned that uh, when we did this run as Batman. Yeah, we did. So, I mean, it's always hard when you revisit the levels as, like, different characters, because it's like, especially as a Let's Play, it's like, hmm, what, yeah. what can I do differently? Yeah, but wouldn't that be hilarious if you had to paint, if you had to mess up all that artwork? As the Joker or Scarecrow? Yeah. That would be interesting. I'd be down for that. I don't know, does, jo uh, does Scarecrow have some kind of, like, fear thing where he can cause people fear when he's fighting them, or no? Nope. He just has bombs. I think in the later games, like uh, DC superheroes, like Lego Batman 2 and Lego Batman 3, he has the ability to have like a, a fear attack, but in the very first game, just bombs. Yep. And pumpkins. But the pumpkins, even though they sh like throw the fear toxin, it doesn't do anything. It's just like kind of a nice little aesthetic. It's like, oh, he has the pumpkin bombs. That's true to the character of the animated series. Yeah. Oh, speaking of animated series, they have finally concluded the uh, Ninja Turtles Batman crossover of the animated series. Oh, wow. And it was pretty good. At the end of it, little spoiler, they show ah. the Scarecrow. Yeah. Who Batman and Robin and uh, Batgirl have not like rounded up yet. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. He realizes, after being transported to this other Earth, that he isn't striking enough fear into the hearts of his enemies, Batman, Robin, and the police, and all this other stuff. So he creates a new visage, which is the one from the Red Sky series. Oh. So to see Jonathan Crane actually developing the scary Scarecrow costume Whoa. from the Red Sky series was really interesting. That's okay. I forgot... What his costume looked like in the red. He sky. had like a, a noose around his neck, and he had like this really scary scarecrow face, and he just looked frightening. <laughs> wow, you know what I, I think would be like a flaw in having the noose around your neck, though. 
Like, if somebody were to grab it when they're fighting you, it's like, a, I don't know. <laughs> that would just be like, I don't know, I just think that would be a flaw. It'd be hard to... You should never have anything wardrobe, like... Wardrobe uh, issue, yeah. Yeah. Or like get it caught somewhere. One of the things I really liked about that crossover, too, is also showed that Robin and Batgirl were dating. Yeah. So, I mean, for Babs and, like, Grayson Shippers, it was pretty awesome. And yeah. then today, of course, was the finale of uh, the New 52. It's completely over in the Superman issue um, 976 called Deja New 52. Yay! And it's pretty, pretty much... It's yeah. over! Yeah. It's over. Awesome. It, it never happened now. It never Thank happened. God! <laughs> How long has it been? How long? Wait, Since when did it start? Oh my God! 2011. It's the end of a very long day. The nightmare is over, yeah. So, I mean, I was so happy because you know that in the New 52, the Doomsday event never happened. Lois and Clark's wedding never happened. They were just f friends. And it was a whole Wonder Woman-Superman relationship, which was just weird. And basically what they did is when they brought in the pre-52 Superman, who's still Superman, by the way, but now it's not pre-52 or post-Flashpoint or whatever, none of that stuff happened anymore. The multiverse is coming back, kind of, which I don't really know how to explain it yet. It's probably going to take another couple of years to figure out how that's going to work. But yeah, they showed Doomsday, they showed the wedding, and they showed a new way that John was born. Originally, he was born in the Convergence world where Flashpoint Batman, you know, Thomas Wayne was uh, helping Lois have the baby. But now it shows Thomas, or not Thomas Wayne, it shows like uh, the Kents and Lois's family and just like a regular birth inside of a hospital in the old universe. So what's happening is people are actually getting their memories back from the past 15 years of oh DC Comics. Oh my gosh. So all that stuff happened again. So that means the New 52, which was a completely new start to everything, was like, you said, a bad dream, and it never happened anymore. Wow, that so is So how they explained uh, New 52 Superman and Pre-52 um, Superman, or, you know, classic 80s Superman as you and I know him, the one that married Lois and had the kid and all this yeah. other stuff and was super powerful, is there was a 90s arc in DC Comics where Superman had his power split in the blue and red energies. Mm -hmm. Instead of that, they had two Supermen split. Um, the new 52 was the red, the angry Superman, and the blue 52, or the current rebirth Superman, was the blue Superman who had compassion and hope. And the reason why he wasn't as strong as he used to be, it wasn't because his powers were gone. It's because he was split into two beings. Wow. New 52 younger Superman and his older self. That's crazy. So at the end of this event... So they admit New 52 Superman is a jerk. Yes. Um, at, he even attacked a Mystic Pitalik, like New 52 Superman. He was getting ready to really hurt him. Oh, wow. And remember, he's just a prankster. He's not really anybody that... He just messes with Superman every once yeah, in a while. Yeah, exactly. He's not like a... You know, think like uh, Harmless Howie Mandel, because he played yeah. Mystic Pitalik a couple times mm -hmm. in uh, Lois and Clark. Oh, wow. But, I didn't realize that. you know, I, I guess I gave a spoiler who the bad guy was, like, during this transition, but it was really cool to see the entire history rewritten, and then Oz, the villain from... I'm not going to say who he is, but he's a character that may have ties to the Watchmen universe. Yeah. And even he's like, so the most powerful thing in the universe is love, because Lois and... Superman, like the married, you know, Kents, mm -hmm. and Jonathan were able to bend reality back to how it was by refusing wow. to forget that they all were a family and that they existed. So they reshaped the pre-52 universe. They did that by remembering who they were? Through the power of love and family, yep. That's the power of love. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So that was That's pretty awesome. exciting. I was like... Uh, wow, so what about all those people that said they love the new 52? They're probably just going to go back and go, oh yeah, it, it, it was terrible. It's like, this whole time... They probably people, are, because a lot of them... People criticizing you this whole time, when, and they're like, what's wrong with the new 52? It's like, well, obviously DC had something wrong with it. A lot of them have really been loving Rebirth, though. Yeah, but it's like, why did they ever... 
this is what I don't understand. When you criticize, if you weren't criticizing and other people weren't criticizing the new 52, they would have never brought it back to something that was better. See, this is why you are a critic, is you actually say what's wrong with things. If you don't admit what's wrong, you can't get anything better. If you just accept everything for how it is, you can't get... Ah, uh, never mind. People just don't know how to have standards anymore. But, I mean, it was really great to bring back that one, like, writer for Superman from the 90s, even though he was the guy who off Superman with the Doomsday arc. His writing on Superman has made me a Superman fan again. Whoa. Like... I haven't missed a single issue. I mean, usually wow. I just told myself, you know what, I'm only going to read Nightwing, and I'm only going to read the Titans, and occasionally I'll read, like, a Batman issue, but I haven't been able to put down the Batman books. Like, they were incredible. The I Am Bane series was phenomenal. Yes. I really liked the um, Detective Comics that brought in the animated series League of Shadows as, like, an actual threat that even Rachel Ghoul is scared of because it involves Lady Shiva. Yeah. Who is Cassandra's mom, and she was also, like, a scary assassin. I don't understand. Did they know they were going to fail at New 52, or did they just do it for a big joke, or I don't know. They, they were understand. actually in for a rude awakening when they did that because they lost half their fan base. Like, so I they thought it was gonna. they thought it was going to succeed, but it didn't, so they had to change it. Right, but it took a long time for them because they basically erased all the continuity and then how they tried to fix things was they started knocking off Robins and that made people even more angry. So it's kind of like, okay. Yeah, I know, like with Tim. But I, I, the new 52 had some really good things. I, I will say this. Like what, Luke? Batman 66. The Adam West like comic books are incredible. The Injustice comic book series was phenomenal. The DC Digital series, like, where they release different digital stories. Grayson was really good. Um, Justice League was okay, but I prefer um, Justice League International, like the uh, 2000 stories, and also the Jim Lee Justice League was better. Um, the Batman stories were okay, and some interesting th things happened, but it was kind of, to me, it felt like a hit and miss at time, kind of like what Grant Morrison did with... Um, Batman as Dick Grayson and Damien as Robin. Yeah. Some stories were really, really good and were some of the best things to happen to Batman in a, lo a long time. So the New 52 had some arcs like that, but also had some really bizarre things like Jim Gordon being like robot Batman for <laughs> yeah. up to two years. Robocop. And, you know... Jim. Uh, I don't know. It's just... It, it was bizarre, but I mean... It's a great time to be a comic book fan again. If you guys have not checked out DC Rebirth, I suggest you do it now. There is a Batman and Flash crossover series that's happening in April. Mm -hmm. It's going to be amazing. Uh, it's going to show the friendship and detective elements for both uh, Batman and the Flash as they try to figure out what's going on in the DC Rebirth because characters are starting to get their memories back. We've seen it in the Titans, like Nightwing books, where characters past are starting to merge again. And even Superman talked to Nightwing about, like, you know, you're missing something um, that, you know, my counterpart in my world, my Nightwing, mm -hmm. uh, had, and that was Bloodhaven. So there's been, like, several Bloodhaven arcs now where Nightwing's in Bloodhaven. And at the same time, Wally West came back with the red hair. And, you know, it's just been... It's been an amazing rush. I mean, I have not enjoyed comic books this much in probably 20 years. Wow. It's pretty awesome. And I was just like kind of a casual comic book reader after the 90s. Or sorry, mid, mid, yeah, late 90s, early 2000s. Something like that. Wow, Luke, that's awesome. I didn't even know that you were back into reading that because at last I heard you weren't really reading a lot because it was Well, like... you can check the bank account because it's mm -hmm. Google. <laughs> Sorry. I'll live stream. I'll live stream more, I promise. Uh. You will make it all Woo up. Ah. You will make it up so that I will have my money for my shoe collection. I haven't I haven't gotten shoes in like nine months or something. I know, but how I look at it is I you know, I talk about this stuff in my videos, so I mean I know this is expense. No. Comics aren't really that expensive anymore, are they? Three dollars uh, a piece. <laughs> it's fine. They you just started it's fine. Just relax. Oh my gosh. I, I only get like 
three or four comics a week. Yeah, that reminds me. We have to write down all the business expenses for our okay. accountant. Okay. But I mean, I hope that DC Rebirth is going to get to a point, though, just for people that have a hard time, like, um, having comics, like, and affording them. I mean, right now, you have to understand that they're releasing, like, two Nightwing books a month, two Batman books a month, two Detective Comics, two Superman, two All Star, or, sorry, two Action Comics, two Justice League, two Titans, and it just goes on and on and on. So instead of, like, you only getting a 112 you know, issue story arc for one, like, one year, you're getting two amazing story arcs in one year. Yeah. But that also hurts people's wallet. Yeah. So, just be careful, people. Pick the series you really like and stick with it. And just try to avoid the other issues, even though they're all amazing. So, oh. You know who's really expensive? Cats. This one. Yeah, they, they cost more than uh, comic books. Yeah, maybe we should uh, not have our kitties and have comic books instead. No, I like our kitties, too. Ah, so that was really fun. I enjoyed that. So anyway, guys and gals, that does it for this episode. Join us next time for the finale of Lego Batman, the video game on the Nintendo DS. Yay! Pretty excited. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out our other series that we go going on on the channel right now. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!